Hi, this is David Vlade with AltaVista Technology. I wanted to cover a pretty technical topic today. It is a module within Sage Intact called the Data Delivery Service. This comes up in a, some of my more technical conversations, often with larger clients, and it can come up in a lot of ways, but one common use case that is presented to me is one of my customers will say, you know what, I have a server farm or I at least have some uh, server access and we have people with expertise in certain robust report writing platforms. Maybe my customer has someone on staff who knows Tableau really well or Power BI. So when it comes to me, we're asked like, well, how do we get easy access to all that great Sage Intact information so that we can leverage our skill set and really get great reporting and analytics? Well, the first thing I always make sure we're all on the same page about is uh, we do have lots of good things within Sage Intact, even without those other tools. So this is, for example, the Interactive Visual Explorer, and it has lots of built-in functionality that I think is just stellar that lets people um, run reports. And I mean, the first word in Interactive Visual Explorer is interactive. So users have the ability to interact like this, and they can pick bits of information that matters to them and the charts all update, and that's a lot of great stuff. I really love this product, a lot of good functionality here. But the point's well taken. If you already have expertise in-house who can use other tools, and those tools are available, and you have server access to develop against, then that's very valid. That's something we can help with. And we can help with it in a few ways. So the first thing I'll mention is we do have a Sage Intact Marketplace, and I can do some links to uh, make available to describe how this works. But if you go to marketplace.intact.com, again, we'll have a link, but you can see a lot of great things in, that are out there. These are all products that connect with Sage Intact, and there's a lot of connectors that you could use to connect the data to Sage Intact. Another option, uh, again, a technical one in nature, is there is a whole developer website. And I'll throw out another address. So this is developer.intact.com. If you have a web services developer nearby, uh, that person can query the data within Sage Intact uh, using, using the API and pull information out that way. Another option. But the one I'm here to talk about is one I love. It's called the Data Delivery Service. Let me pull that up right here. And what this lets us do is you can see on this menu choice here is I have automatic and manual. And like the name implies, you can set the system up to either on demand or on a schedule of some sort, push out information to a location of your choosing. So let's run through an easy example. I'll click automatic here. So let's pretend we're making an automatic data delivery service. And we give it a name like that. And there's a lot of options here. We don't have to read all of them, but we can call out some of the highlights. So your usual suspects about how we want to format the information, that's good. How many records we want to have before we start breaking up our data extract. And the default, as you can see, 100,000 is pretty good. And then we get to pick our cloud destination. So if I go and hit add here, I'll see different uh, storage types that you're probably familiar with. So the most common that I see in the world are usually Azure storage or maybe an S3 box. But if you pick one of those, like let's say Azure, you can give it a name and then you would uh, create um, the URL. You would have to create a URL for, uh, to catch the information from Sage Intact using, in this case, Azure. And you paste that URL into the setup box and there you go. Every information from Sage and Tech will get pushed out to whatever destination you want. Schedule, just like you'd think, daily, weekly, monthly, all those good things. And I almost missed it, but this is my favorite uh, option in the whole thing. This is such a powerful thing if you think about it. Let's say I wanted to export uh, transaction data. That's actually a challenging thing to do, right? Because if you say, I want to pull all the information, let's say through today, and then tomorrow you want to do that again and add the next day and then the day after that. But in accounting, you know, it's very common that we will backdate transactions, rightly so. That's one of the things we do. So that ends up being tricky, right? Because you can't just say, I'm going to take everything by the date of the transaction because things come in out of order. So having this option to say, just give me the information since the last time I pulled it is amazing. It's an easy little radio button and it's fine. Depending on your use case, like let's say I was pulling down a list of all my vendors, just for one example, you could say all data with the idea being that I'll pull down my entire vendor master, let's say, and part of my routine offline is going to be truncating everything I have locally and just rebuilding it. That could be an option too. This is for techie people. Depending on what you're talking about, you, have a very, you might have a very strong opinion about one of these options. 
Okay, now I'll scroll down and then you get to see all the different objects that are in the system. And if you are coming from a techie background, you're probably floored at looking at this because it's organized really well. <laughs> and we don't see cryptic table names or anything like that. This is all laid out in a way we can understand. So I gave an example kind of casually there about what if I wanted to pull vendors out of the system. That sounds like accounts payable to me. And there's my vendor record. So I could just check the box and there we go. And I can have different automatic jobs set up. So maybe I have uh, one here for vendors and that's going to Azure and I could have something else set up that's going somewhere else. I usually don't see that, but you could. Oh, oh and then you can even uh, fine tune this further. So if I wanted to pull vendors, you could even hit the select and you could see all the different columns or fields within the vendor record. And I can pick the things that I want to add, like vendor ID maybe, and maybe the name. And you can do it this way too, if you only cared about certain bits of information or just take the whole object in, in total. And I, I know that seems quick, but really that's it, right? So by coming in here, you can enable your automatic job, you set up some formatting options, you pick your destination, and then the system will do the rest of the work for you. So if I pick daily, then every day I'm gonna be pushing out in this example, my vendor records, and I can catch them and do fun things with them. Then I could use those uh, great analytics that you've seen elsewhere in other systems and do some amazing things. We have so much great information in Sage Intact, it's a shame if we don't use it. So this is how you do that. This is how you can leverage all that information and surface that to people who need it in the way they need to see it. Hope that helps. Look forward to more information on our website at altavistatech.com and drop us a line if you want to learn more about data delivery services in Sage Intact. Thanks.